In this video, I'm going to make this resume example for high school students using Microsoft Word. It's a simple yet professional setup that encourages hiring managers to read through. Now, if you prefer to save some time and want to download matching resumes and cover letter templates, then click on the link in the description for more information. Now, we'll also provide you with tips on how to put your skills and experiences on the resume to make it better than 9 out of 10 other resumes based on solid research. Now without further ado, let's start making this resume. First we want to change the margins. Go to the layout tab, margins, and pick the normal or narrow margin settings. Now I would advise you to pick the narrow settings for some extra space to avoid cropped sentences and keep everything on a one page document. Okay, next up we go to the insert tab, shapes, and pick a rectangular shape. Cover the header area, now you can pick many shape fill colors and outlines, but for this video I choose no outline and would like a gradient style. Linear right, double click the shape, open the fill menu and remove the stop icon. Click it first and then select the minus. Now pick two suitable colors for each side. Alright that looks good, now let's hide this menu and zoom in a bit. Now we need a text box so we can include our personal information. Cover the header area like this. And after that we remove the shape filler and outline. Now we need a white text to improve the readability of the header area. After that you first need to enter your name and surname. Go to the home tab to center it and increase the font size to let's say 24. Bold highlight it to make it stand out a bit more. Now let's include some contact information. Start with the city and state. Email address. Now let me remove the hyperlink first. Then the phone number. And at last a link to for example your LinkedIn profile. If you have one at least. Now if you are above 16. I would advise you to create a comprehensive LinkedIn profile. Research shows that it can increase your chances by 71% for getting an invitation to an interview. Now let me align these shapes a bit better and group them together. Now press the spacebar once and enter button a couple of times to detach the cursor from the header area. Now let's divide the resume into sections including a summary, education, skills, experience, and interest section in caps lock. Now the sequence of these sections highly depends on the position you are after and your professional experience and educational background. Remember, always put the best of above the fold. Now create two white lines in between each section and bold highlight summary. We also need to adjust the line spacing options. Go to the spacing settings and change these to 12 points before and 12 points after and press OK. Now, if it turns out you need more text to fit on one page, you can easily reduce this afterwards. I also want to add some borders to visually separate these sections from the body text. Now click on this little arrow icon and pick top and bottom borders in the drop down menu. Furthermore, pick in between the 13 to 16 point font size. Now I think that 40 looks fine. And then we center the title as well. Next up, we need to place the cursor in the middle of the keyword and click the format painter twice. Now select the other sections to paste the formatting. All right, and then we need to make sure to disable the formatting option. All right, now let's start with the summary. Now I would advise you to include this section to inform the reader and direct their attention. So inform the reader about who you are, what grade you are currently in, what you are looking for and of course your availability. Now that way you immediately provide them with important information and therefore prove your ability to communicate effectively. Ok next up we can start adding the educational background. So the school's name, city, state and the expected graduation date. Now to align some of the information to the right side, we need the ruler. 
Now, if you don't see this option, you need to go to the View tab and enable Ruler. Okay, let me show you what this option does. So if you place the cursor right here, click somewhere in the ruler to place a left tap stop and press tab. Now I want to properly align it, so I simply drag it accordingly. Okay, after that we need to add some subcategories and list information on, for example, GPA, relevant courses and extracurricular activities. Now if you have some important certifications that relate to the position you are after, then you can add them in this section or perhaps the skills section. Now in the skills section, you want to properly list some of our most important soft and hard skills. Go to the insert tab, click on the table drop down menu and pick a three by one table. Now, as you can see, the margins are not perfect, but we can change that. Go to the table layout, cell margins and change the left and right windows to zero. Oh, there you go. Now, before I add some soft and hard skills, research shows that applicants matched only 51% of the relevant keywords and skills on their resumes. Now, in order to know what kind of keywords you should be looking at, I would advise you to copy the job description. Go to the free word cloud generator and paste it right in there and then click on generate cloud. Now, once you've added all the keywords, I like to first align these cells and after that remove the borders. Now in order to do so, select the whole table and go to table design. Click the table drop down and select no borders. Okay, so next up we have the experience section. So let's say you have some experience as a stock clerk at a shopping center and also enter the city, state and employment duration on the right side. Now let's use the ruler again to align this information. Okay, let me enter some working experience and fast forward a bit. Now I structured these sentences according to the PAR method, which stands for problem, action and results. Now that way you bring impact and purpose to your experiences. The same goes for using action verbs at the beginning of each sentence. Action verbs like managed, marked and praised. Furthermore, do you notice how I quantified my experiences? Now, if possible, you should add some measurable metrics because it illustrates someone's value and therefore improves your chances of getting that interview. Okay, let me add another paragraph real fast. Okay, after that we move to the interest section. Now, although this section is not a requirement, I would advise you to include it in your resume because it takes just a couple of words to show the human side behind the resume. Now that doesn't mean you should add some fluffy buzzwords and cliches, like 51% of the applicants include in their resumes, but try to grab your reader's interest and make it relevant or relatable. For example, if you want to come across as someone that is adventurous, enter for example, traveling. And also inform the reader about your travel ambitions. Or perhaps you like doing football and add, for example, your favorite team and player. Or what about watching Netflix? Include some of your favorite series and write something along the lines of Binged Watched, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. I really like these series and there's also a big chance that the reader watched one of these as well. So you already have some mutual interests. Anyway, I hope you get the idea. Now keep your resume short, concise and to the point. Recent data shows that the ideal resume length is in between the 475 to 600 words. A stunning 77% of the resumes were outside of that range. Lastly, I also want to emphasize the importance of properly sending your resume. Unless instructed otherwise, save your resume as a PDF or Word document attached to the email and save it accordingly. So name surname, resume. Now that way, the reader will know that it is yours without even opening the file. Now, all these little things prove your attention to detail and can make the difference between getting that interview or not. Okay, so before I end this video, I would like to know if you watched the whole video and I'm even more curious if you actually got the internship or job you wanted. Leave an emoji with glasses if you watched the video till the end and leave an emoji with sunglasses if you got the job. 
I want to thank you for watching and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll respond as soon as possible. Now if this video was helpful, then a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye!